Hello, Simulators, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I know, it's been three months since I posted, but I'm promising you that I get back into the groove of posting again. But anyway, I have this really, really cute uh, family home for you guys. I'm not sure what I would call it, but it's a family home. And I really love the front yard, by the way. Really proud of that. <laughs> but uh, I built this on the creek lot, uh, which is, or the spa lot. Um... I just really wanted to build it on a creaky kind of um, middle of nowhere vibe in a way. Uh, it's a fairly large house. Um, I really think it's cute. As you can see, I've got some nice shrubbery going on. I've got some vines going up the house. I really wanted to give it a really cozy um, lived in feel. I also use those little pine trees, whatever they're called. I think they're pine trees. <laughs> Not sure, but I use one of those little bird feeders as well. Really, really cute. And we have a little pond over here as well. So yes, and those new windows as well. So in here is the L-shaped entryway, which I'm really, really fond of. Love the new L-shaped room feature. But spinning around, as you can see, we have a little entry table there with some decorations on it, some wedding pictures. I love that little boho light. It works perfectly, I think, anywhere, personally. I think it just looks so stinking cute. Um, but yes, I have a boho rug as well. And of course, that placid blue wall. I feel like I use that in all of my builds. <laughs> but then going over to the right of the entryway, you can see I have some more decorations there. We have the staircase to the basement and the upstairs. One of the doors lead to the kitchen and one of the doors lead to the living room. But first, let's go into the little office here. So when you first walk in, you see a couple of little decor pieces, um, like this little boho knitting things forgot what they're called <laughs> but i think it's really really cute the grandma actually uh knits and makes clothes so she made that which i think is neat and then as you can see over here by the window they have a little family computer which the mom dad and grandma uses and then over here is a little seating area because this is also the library so you can sit down and read a book or a magazine or anything like that and as you can see, there's the mom there just kind of sitting down. <laughs> and over here is the living room. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to give it a warm, cozy vibe. So I used that older sofa and just made it into an L shape kind of thing. Um, it's, it's a great mix of rustic, um, modern. I feel like, yeah, that's what I want to say. <laughs> it's a mix of rustic and modern. There it is. <laughs> I use that double fireplace as well. I really love those orange lights. I think they're so freaking cute. But yeah, I really wanted to give this room a very cozy, cozy vibe. Over here, this chair actually has a backstory. So Benjamin, who is the father, his grandmother actually made that chair. And so that's something he got, unfortunately, when she passed quite recently. And so he just likes to sit there and read and stuff like that. But I think it's a really cute chair. And as you can see, we got a little plant there and table. And yeah, I use that new wall that we got. I think it works really, really well. And this is also a loft, as you can see, with that big chandelier. And these are the doors to the backyard really love this backyard. I think I did really, really good with the landscaping in this build. I'm going to toot my own horn. <laughs> but as you can see, we have a little kind of walkway. And to the right of that walkway, we have a swing with some nice shrubbery. And then I use those fairy lights. I think it's really, really cute. And then over there is the little greenhouse and stuff. So it's it's got three sections. Um, we've got the fork in the road. <laughs> we've got the greenhouse. And then we've got the actual main conversatal area or conversational area but yeah as you can see there's also two balconies there and patios but over here is the little outdoor kitchen with the eating area and the pool the pool is actually a really decent size over there we've got some uh grape vineyards or grape vines it's not a vineyard it's a grapevine and over here is the little i want to say i can't remember what they're called i think they're called breakfast patios or something like that it's like those little decks or those little porches off of like the kitchen. They have a name, not sure what it is. <laughs> but as you can see, there's a little sitting area out there and I use that new screen door. Really, really love that screen door. But yeah, coming back in, as you can see, we go through this door and you get into the kitchen. It's an L-shaped kitchen with a little eat-in, it's an eat-in kitchen. 
And I love these countertops, but they didn't give us a sink to go with it, so I just used a regular stainless steel sink, as you can see. And those new windows, love those new windows with the curtains, so pretty. But yeah, I, uh, I love these countertops. They've got a big island. The countertops look really, really wealthy, really, really uh, rich, as in like rich as in color and homey vibes. <laughs> Over here is the oven area. Use that new little stove top um, ventilation thing. I am losing my mind today. I can't remember what anything is called. This is the little Eden kitchen part. It's a little nook. And then as you can see by the stove, we also have a little pantry area. And it's got a bay window as well, so a little neat, <laughs> a little neat thing. And then over here is the dining room. They've got some cabinetry over there, got some wine glasses. This is the grandma that lives here, not the one that passed away, of course. <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that, but as you can see, she's reading her cookbook. She's trying to figure out what she wants to cook. <laughs> and then that is pretty much the dining room. Yeah, it's really, really simple. I didn't want to clutter it up too much. I just wanted to leave it pretty simple. But let's go upstairs. So as you can see, we have a little bit of a mezzanine going on here. Uh, I think that's a little cute touch. It fills out the space, <laughs> so it's not like really empty. And here's the preteen daughter's room. As you can see, she's just come home from school, so she's studying, doing a little bit of her schoolwork kind of thing, even though we're in the midst of a coronavirus. Um, it's not in The Sims. <laughs> but um, on that note, I want to say please keep safe and I hope you all are doing really well. It really is a hard time um, right now. So, but anyway, going into this room, as you can see, we have a little, uh, I'm not sure what my camera's doing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we have a little bit of a side table there for her to keep her books on. Uh, some paintings there, which I imagine she did because uh, she's, she's an artist, as you can see. We got one of those little easels there for her. Um, She's got a little entry table there with some more artwork. She's got her jewelry displayed. And then I got this idea from a YouTuber who has kind of a barn door as a headboard. And so that's what I did here. I just, uh, it's not really a barn door. She just has the barn door railings above it. But I decided to put the barn door there, of course, because I have to. <laughs> but anywho, as you can see, she's got her little nightstand and her stereo area. But yeah, and over here is her little walk-in closet. And she's got a little... Uh, beauty station there it was recently her birthday so she's got some presents there that have been um not put away yet but anyway going over here we have the master suite some very light earthy tones in here very very minimalistic i would say very simple um i didn't want to clutter it up like i said i really didn't want to clutter it up too much and then bathroom again pretty simple not much to say and then they have their own private balcony over here where they can sit down and then there's one over here if they have guests of course over here's the grandma's room so when you enter you see her little sofa there she's used her dressers as nightstand she's got her makeup table on there she's got her little jewelry set on there uh this is where she makes her clothes and where she knits and you know makes little this and that things <laughs> Definitely, I've used some older Sim furnitures in here, in here, as you can see, but I really, really like it. I think it's really pretty. Uh, that's where she keeps some of her more knitting and crafting supplies. But anyway, this is what I've done. I hope you enjoyed. Again, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.